Zeus, you had to uh, wait a couple of days for a bit of a prognosis on the time on the sidelines for you. What have you been told? Yeah, so in conjunction with the physios, um, it's probably going to be around that, you know, four-week mark, maybe hopefully a bit earlier. Um, but in saying that, there'll be no risk taken. Um, and, yeah, look, I'll be doing everything I can to get back as soon as possible. Um, but, yeah, it sort of looks like one of those generic hammies. It might be around the four-week mark, so a mid-termer. You would have heard the talk that you came back too early. What do you actually say about that? Oh, I think that's rubbish, to be honest. Um, our medico is a, a first class at North, um, and Matt and the docs, um, Pete and Bianca, have put some, some pretty important critical measures I had to meet um, prior to training um, to then be able to play. Um, and I hit those measures for pretty much two weeks straight before I, I was cleared to play. Um, and it was to the point where I was just about ready to go the week before. Um, but the physios and the medical team decided that we'll just give it one more week, um, given the risks and the, and the back-to-back games that, that, that are potentially coming up. So um, we didn't play that week and, and train the next week again and hit the measures again um, to back up all the data and everything that was uh, put in place um, to check off before I did play. Um, so I t- ticked all those boxes and uh, when I went out there, I think that's probably why it was so disappointing is because I couldn't have been any more prepared to play. Um, and I was cleared and, and checked and, and double checked and triple checked to play and, and we'd done the right thing and, and it was just one of those things I suppose that we've seen a bit this year um, all across the league um, that there's plenty of injuries going on and uh, it's a bit unfortunate but that's part of footy, it is what it is. Just for those who don't know, what are some of the measures that you have to meet? Is it you know your top end speed, etc.? Yeah, it's top end speed's one of the critical measures. Um, I hit that twice, three times um, in three different ses- sessions before the, the game, and uh, another one's strength measures, making sure that the strength levels are, are nice and high. Um, and then all your footy basic specific stuff you've got to do in a game, you have to do all that pre-game to, to make sure that you you're right to go. So um, it's pretty in depth. Um, people at home probably don't understand how in depth uh, the medical teams go and making sure you're prepared to play because it's such a demanding sport and um, I feel for those guys because they're probably getting lumped with a bit of pressure at the moment um, off the back of my decision to play and um, I couldn't back them enough to say that, that I was clear and I was right to go and, and sometimes footy, it's a bit unlucky. On the injury front, look, the clubs have been hit pretty hard, there's no hiding that, it's a long injury list, a lot of them collision injuries. As captain, team hasn't been going that well either. What do you say to the boys and um, how do you get things to turn around? Yeah, well, it's one of those old cliched sayings, I think, that um, when you're going really well, things aren't going as well as you think they are. And when you're going really badly, um, sometimes they're not as going as bad as you think they are either. Um, Not to say that things are going very well at the moment, but I think that things aren't too far off um, turning around. Um, The attitude that our guys have got, obviously, at the weekend was a disappointing result and um, the game did not pan out the way we liked, but um, we've learned some pretty valuable lessons over the last couple of weeks. Um, we've got some exposure into some young guys as well, and hopefully we get a few guys back in the next two or three weeks, some important players. Um, if we can do that with the right attitude, and, and sure, he's been unbelievable um, over the last week or two, and um, keeping the group together as well. So the message is going forward that we just have to work our tails off and, and things will turn because um, we've been here before in situations like this and, um, and things have turned around. So we've just got to keep our head down, keep working our butts off, and, and things will turn. Thanks for your time, buddy. Cheers.